Heute habe ich spontan zu Gast die Band The Treatment. Hey, äh, hallo! So, hey, guys, thank you very much for giving me a spontaneous interview. Um, is it possible to introduce yourself and to say what your instrument you do? Play Absolutely. Sure. Perfect. I'm Tao, I play guitar. Tao. Play drums. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Rick, I play bass. I'm Danny, I play drums. And I'm Mitch, I sing. Nice, nice. Uh, what is the history of your band? When have you been founded? Which is the uh, origin member and so on? How long do you um, Yeah, we started, I'd say around the, like, the lineup we are now, around 2010. And um, yeah, we, we released two records with our, our previous singer. And uh, it was only up until last year, or the year, wasn't 2015? Yeah, yeah, 2015, yeah, yeah. Mitchell joined. And um, yeah, we're currently touring our third album, Generation V. And uh, yeah, we're, we're happy to be supporting Scorpions again. Absolutely. Yeah, fucking mental. What, what is the feeling to support a band like this? Oh, that's amazing. No, yeah, they're, they're crazy. They're like yeah. an absolute legend. You know? Yeah. And they're like, yeah. Just, like, we're, you know, I mean, we're just honored to be sharing the stage with them. Totally. Like, I've been so, like, been excited for months, but today I've just been like bouncing off yeah, the walls. Yeah. Like, honestly, the feeling out. never ever goes. Like, we've played with the Scorpions before, but you just wake up this morning and you're like, Oh my shit. god, we're <laughs> playing with Scorpions today. And also, today with an with yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I met him earlier, so I was chatting to him, I said, literally, exactly 10 years ago, when I was 14, I went to go see Moberhead um, play at Wolfram Hall in Wolverhampton. It was one of the first gigs I ever went to, so um, it's kind of cool to 10 years later to be um, sharing the stage with him. So. That's really yeah, true. True. Rock and roll heroes. Yeah, but we in your dreams. Yeah. 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 yeah 100%. And um, what kind of music style do you play and how do you create songs? Um, I'd say we're just uh, an aggressive. Yeah, punky rock and roll. Yeah. Punk rock style band. I'd say. Like, I think we've got so many different influences from like metal bands to punk bands to classic rock exactly, bands yeah. and so on. I just say we're just high energy rock bands. Yeah, exactly. Like, I yeah. think you can probably yeah. say that we've taken influences from lots of other bands, but I wouldn't necessarily say we're like yeah. a carbon copy of one thing in yeah. particular, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. just straight up hard rock and roll, you know? Yeah. Really high energy. Yeah. That's the main thing for us. Which, which people or musicians did influence you personally, perhaps every member? Uh, probably, I think one of the major ones is like ACDC, yeah. so ACDC, yeah, exactly. Tex Pistols, like a lot, a lot, exactly. a lot, a lot, a lot of the kind of classic 70s and 80s bands. Yeah, people. but I mean, the thing is with us as well, it's like I don't think we really, particularly individually, we all like love those kind of bands, but yeah. we all have our own kind yeah. of personal influences as well. Yeah, like. Um, I don't know what to say. Like, they all kind of bring different elements to the band. Player, which, uh... Yeah, so I fucking love like all the old like late seventies punk bands, um, like dance. Like he loves fucking like, hardcore, but we all love classic rock yeah, as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's amazing. And I feel we bring support, different yeah. elements in. Okay. Tag's a big Rihanna fan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. Why brings not? a little bit of ooh na na. Into the mix, you know? One, Watch day. out for the BBs. Yeah. 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 One day, one day uh, Michael Schenker, the brother of yeah. Rudolf, yeah. said, there is no question between which style of music you like, it's a question between good music and bad music. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Your actor album is called Generation B. What is the history behind it? How did you produce it? Were and we who um, was the lyrics and so on? Yeah, I mean, that, all three of our albums, to be honest, have been pretty much exactly the same process. Like, um, we've recorded all three of our uh, albums in the same studio, which is owned by um, Steve Harris from Iron Maiden. Yeah. So, um, and it was engineered by Tony Newton, who, who plays in a band called Booty Six. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's been one of the things. We've been so happy with the last three albums we've done. We've, we like we we just never we didn't want to change the formula, you know what I mean? Because it's kind of been our sound. Yeah. And um, but yeah, like the whole generation me thing come about. Just it's all like the whole album is pretty much about just what we feel was going on in that generation. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think like, we're a bit yeah. sick of people just sticking on their phones and not going out and yeah. having a good time. 
and very much like just everyone has become so self-centered yeah, so it's just, yeah, just like, our kind of way yeah. of expressing that the whole thing about like, rock show is it's not meant to be like you know how good you look or whatever it's just about going out and having fucking blast yeah, and getting drunk and just you know fucking dancing around or whatever just whatever yeah, yeah. yeah. From the back, mate, it looks terrible. Oh, but, like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, a very special question: Which song of the new record is the most difficult to play live? Uh, probably the ones that we don't play. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've played two songs. <laughs> We're not playing no, no, it's it's the new record. record. But, but here, as you said, is there one song very difficult to play for an instrument? Um, um, I think I think the actual the title track Generation B is quite quite difficult to sing because it is really high up there for me. So there's a single <coughs> going for the top notes pretty much the whole way through. So that was quite a difficult one. But then you get something like Cry Tough as well, which is kind of in that same range, you know. And that, in a sense, although it is difficult, it's it's kind of fun at the same time because yeah. you're really having to break through and just give it some. I think you know it it can be difficult, but. It's still fun to sing, do you know what I mean? But it's yeah. still fun so, to, to try and go for it. And um, yeah, but uh, it doesn't really matter how difficult it is as long as it's fun to play. It's all about it. Yeah, I think the rest of us are just professionals. So. Yeah, exactly. We don't write anything complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what makes it. You yeah. can't yeah. play it. Yeah. You can't write it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, which is your personal favourite of the Jericho Club song? I mean, I'd say Corinto for me. I'd personally. say Generation Me for me personally. Yeah, let it begin for me. Rocker. I love all of them though. I think I find I get too I get too close with a record to actually be able to pick a yeah. favourite. Like, yeah. I'd say I'd say it's like, my favourite album that we've done. And, yeah. Um, so. And uh, these bands are going. On. You're continuing the tour now. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple. We've got a couple of shows. Like this is just a one-off. Um, Show for us. Hellfest, we've got Hellfest next. We're doing Mainstay Hellfest. Yeah, which will be great for us first. Yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're gonna be there. Yeah. The rest I will do with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Old school rock and roll. Yeah. 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 Yeah.